connect your L12 document camera to a projector and also show you the basic functions of the L12. So let's start with the back panel. As you can see here we have the uh, AC adapter that is plugged. You have the blue RGB cable that connects you to your projector that is also plugged and as you can see there is an icon underneath it that shows you that it is for um, the projector. We have the black RGB cable and this one connects you to your computer as you can see it on the icon. And finally you have the USB cable that connects to your, to your computer. Now let's move to the side panel. On the side panel you can either insert your SD card to save your data or capture image, images or videos uh, or a USB key here to is the same also like to save your data or um, images. So as you can see with me, the head and arm of the camera are very flexible that enables you to take three dimensional objects. And we have an integrated microphone that enables you to uh, take videos and also an LD light in case it's needed if you are in a classroom that is a bit dark. And here you have the zoom button that enables you to zoom. We'll use probably a book. So you can zoom in and zoom out, use it, and then don't forget to press the autofocus button that is the orange button here um, at the middle. Let's do, let's try it here with the book. So I'm putting my book and I'm going to zoom out, press the autofocus button, zoom in and Press the autofocus button. The remote control. So using the remote control enables you to move around your class while controlling your document camera. So on your remote control you have exactly the same functions that are on the menu on your uh, document camera. So you have the choice, either use the remote control or use directly the menu on the document camera. So I'm just going to use the same zoom to show you the document. Just zoom a little bit. Here. So we have the zoom in and zoom out button, which is exactly the same. And you have the autofocus, which is the orange uh, button in here. You have here on the side, this is to brighten or darken the image. Let's try it. So, as you can see, you control image quality. Here you have what we call the highlight button. So if we press it, you can just highlight part of the text that you want to focus on and just move around your page. To go back, just press the same button. And here is the mask button that enables you probably to read at the same time with your students or hide um, the answers and show them whenever you want. And the last one here, the blue one, is the scroll button that zooms um, the image and then you can move around your page. The other grey ones uh, are also provided, like they are easier to access uh, using your remote control and you can find them on your menu on, uh, the, on your uh, document camera, right here. So, we have here the 
icon of a camera, which is of course to capture an image. So probably we can capture, um, try and have captured the image of my textbook that we can save on the SD card that is uh, already inserted on my document camera. So I'm going to put my textbook and I'm going to press the camera. As you could see, there was an icon of uh, the camera and my picture is automatically saved on my SD card. In order to view the image, it's very intuitive and simple. You can just press the play button that is in here. So let's press it together. And here is, or here are all my captured images. So I just need to select it. And here is the image I saved. So of course you can capture your students' work, you can capture uh, examples from your te from textbooks that you can use later. You can share uh, like uh, students' uh, work with others, uh, classes that you can send them by email, or it's up to you how, how uh, you want to use it. So, we go back to our remote. We have here uh, the icon of like a camera and it helps you uh, take videos. You can also save them on your SD card or USB stick and you can play them with the same uh, button, that is the play button here. And again you have here the computer icon. And the computer icon as I said, because here my computer is plugged, so I can uh, switch between the image, the live image of the camera and the image of my computer, the screen of my computer. If I want to show probably a PPT or any document that I have uh, saved on my computer instead of my SD card. And finally we have the compare button and here the compare button actually helps you probably compare uh, the results of uh, like a work of a student probably, the answers of a student with your results or a work of two students so let's let's just try it. For example, I have um, my textbook. Wait, I will take a different page. So this page, and I'm gonna press the compare button. So as you can see, here is the live image, and here is the image that I captured and saved earlier on my SD card. So um, these were the basic functions that you can use with the L12 uh, together with your remote control and the computer. And if you want further information, please visit our website or uh, use the manual that is provided with the document camera itself. Thank you very much.